everyone, and welcome back to XCOM 2. I think I am hopefully sort of at the end of the tutorial. I think most of the stuff that uh, the basic stuff is out of the way and I might have a little bit more freedom right now. Last time we uh, were there to uh, to meet both uh, Praetal Mox, a, for an alien rebel and uh, someone who's very fond of blowing th things up and our resident Wasteland Karen, <laughs> uh, Elena, Elena Dragunova, who is uh, a member of the Reapers, who apparently, well, don't mind uh, to chomp down on the occasional sectoid. <laughs> I mean, everyone to their own, right? So, w what were we up to? We're still building the Guerrilla Tactics School. It's taken a while because I haven't actually assigned a an, an engineer. Um, but maybe because my engineer is currently busy clearing the alien debris, so uh, maybe we'll we'll do that later when she's finished with that. Um, we do have uh, we do have most of our soldiers sorted out here, but a lot of them are, are pretty tired. So uh, my higher ranking people are all sleepy, and I think I should probably be. Um, I should probably the spokesman be... took a big risk getting inside Advent. Enough for me to believe he's loyal to our cause. There may still be a few skeptics in the movement, but we've got bigger things to worry about than a man on a screen. Ah, uh, he's fine, he's fine. Don't worry about him. He's been doing this before, Central. Uh, yeah, well, we only currently have the rookies available. There's plenty of them. Uh, obviously, we have both Chris and Lillian here, but um, I'm sort of... Uh, uh, we'll, we'll get them, we'll get them in, but I was kind kind of hoping to have uh, somebody from the uh, from the slightly more experienced crew to at least uh, to at least lead the effort. So we'll have to see about that. Uh, yeah, and we have met the chosen assassin who has actually abducted Mox just when he was he was getting slightly more uh, well, he was warming up slightly to Elena. So. Uh, probably we're gonna have to go and rescue him. Now let's have a look at that. Our greatest battle lies ahead. Our time. 
time on this world draws to close, yet we need not abandon it completely at our departure. For one among you is surely ready to claim this world as their own. One among you is worthy. Return of the Sorcerer. Commander, we've just made contact with a new faction of the Resistance known as the Reapers. They're an elusive bunch, but this is their headquarters. We can scan at this location now to start benefiting from our newfound cooperation. So this is the Commander. Dragonova spoke highly of you and the rest of your team. Trust me, that does not happen often. You are all welcome here. I will admit I had some concerns with this alliance of yours, but from what I hear, this skirmisher, Mox, was captured protecting one of my own. Reapers have long memories, Commander. We will honor our end of the deal. Volk, out. Okay. Anything else? Right. Uh, that was a lot to take in, so <laughs> let, let's sum that up. Um, there are three of the buggers. <laughs> well, it's called War of the Chosen, so these are apparently the Chosen. There's the uh, the Assassin, the stealthy lady, who uh, we've already met. And there are two more. One who looks like a sort of sniper and um, is apparently a bit disillusioned. And uh, one who seems like a very fanatical sort of magician, priest, psy dude of some sorts. Now, oh, great. <laughs> more of those. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, and the the elders, who are about to leave the world, promised that one of them would uh, would inherit it, provided they recapture me. So apparently, I was rather useful for the elders. That uh, they really really disliked that um, I'm running around, uh, starting a, <laughs> starting to lead the resistance. Right, and we now have. Covert actions available. Okay, I'm not sure what that means, but uh, we will find out. All right, continue. Your tenacity could improve your undoing, Commander. If you would seek a fight with me, I hope you are truly ready to match my skills. Okay, so we know that she is in the Arctic. A resistance has informed us that one of the chosen has claimed control of nearby regions. Uh, so if we tr if we run a mission in her territory, we're going to meet her. I'm not sure I want that, especially not with all my with all my crew being um, uh, slightly tired. Okay, so what can we do here? Um, we can. We, we obviously need to. We need to expand our territory. So we need to make contact with new. How did that work? We needed to make contact with new. Um, with new, new, new regions. I think there's a resource cache. We could use some supplies, or we could gain some intel from the Reaper HQ. Um, our next operation will put us right in the middle of Chosen territory, Commander. There's a good chance they'll show up to interfere, so we should plan accordingly. Yeah, it's, um... Okay, we can't go there anyway, so we can't go this way. Uh, there's a resource cache over there, or we could gain some intel. I'm not 100% sure what I need intel for, but, um... It's probably useful. So, we could either get supplies or intel. And uh, we need to make contact somehow with the with the factions. Is this something we need to construct, like satellites in the previous? I'm not sure. I remember, but we'll we'll figure it out as we go. Um, so for now, um, we let, let's just setting course for the Arctic. Yeah, let's just go to the Reaper HQ for now, since we're here, and um, 
This it just takes one t one day to cap to capture that resource cache. Now maybe we'll do that actually first, because it just takes one day. So we fly over here. Avenger plotting new course. Zoop. All right, and it just takes one day to to get that resource cache. So let's grab that and then we'll go back. Strategic resource located. Okay. Uh, we've reached out to local resistance sources and uh, they've been stashing things and we got that okay fly back to the reaper hq setting course for sector one the arctic and that's where we are sitting okay rumor from the resistance intact structures uh, after a recent success uh, brought us reports of activity we might want to investigate okay these are are these like just side missions um we get we get rookies, <laughs> well, more than one. Okay, more soldiers, can't harm because this fatigue system actually means I'm gonna have to be a lot more economic with my soldiers because I can't just use keep using them because they get tired very quickly, like one or two missions and they're down for a couple of days. So um, uh, time to investigate six days. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. So investigate that. Avenger plotting new course. Okay. That's down south here. Does that mean we're going to be running into the into her again? Uh, I'm not sure, but we'll find out. So let's do this. And also, our research should be. Okay. I think you will find our results have exceeded expectations. Yeah, I was about to mention it. Our research should be about finished, right? Okay, what did we actually research? Uh, resistance communications sounds useful. Assign new research. Uh, so what can we do now? We bu can build resistance comms. Okay, this is probably what we're going to need to uh, to make contact with other regions. So, and resistance contacts available. Okay, good. So that's a thing. Um, and yeah, so now we can establish communications network linking resistance outposts around the globe. Uh, okay, cool. Sounds good. So more income. I'm always uh, happy to build our to build up our economy as early as possible. Uh, increases the number of regions we can make contact with. Further contacts can be gained by staffing engineer here once construction is completed. So we need to build the resistance comms room. Okay, so that's probably the next Command. thing. During the course of our research, we made a startling breakthrough that has led us to another potential avenue of study. However, if we are to proceed down this path, we must do so immediately or I fear we will lose our opportunity to return to it in the future. Okay, so we've made a breakthrough and we must insert research infirmary construction immediately. Because if we don't do it right now, Dr. Tigen will forget all about it and then has to do it all from scratch again later on. So Dr. Tigen has a bit of a memory issue. He needs to take learn how to take notes. Anyway, um, yeah, sure, go do it. So we've got the breakthrough, so we may as well just, just do that. Uh, I am very keen to have better armor and better weapons, but magnetic weapons is 19 days down. Uh, we only have one scientist, except I don't know if that ca counts including um, Dr. Tigen, but uh, yeah, we we'll, we we can uh, we can research the the construction. Okay, so let, uh, let's do that then. Research. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Okay. Since it's a breakthrough, we'll do that. Oh, and we have one out of three contacts, so we actually have can make new contacts now. Okay, so that's good to know. Uh, let's go back. Maybe we should start training someone else to pilot the Avenger. I'm never going to get any work done if Mr. Bradford can't keep the ship steady. He's the second one already complaining about Central not being very good at flying things. I mean, to be fair, our first base was very much, well, not flying. So, um, okay, two more days, then we've got the alien debris I've got cleared. To, hand it to the aliens, the invasion was one thing. All their advanced technology, they had the drop on us for sure. But Advent, there's something we could never have prepared for, even with better gear. Between the propaganda, the handouts, and the seemingly endless supply of reinforcing peacekeepers they're nothing but trouble for an upstart resistance movement yes i know central up begun you're all dark and broody by now and begun the clone wars have okay what are we going to do uh i wanted to head over to engineering and see if there's actually hey, anything i can buy um i don't have space to build facilities was there any items flashbang uh, do i need that 
I don't have that many supplies, and I'm not sure if I need it. Uh, it's it sounds useful uh, to disorient enemies. Uh, I'll hold off on it for now because I don't. I'm not sure how many what my supply. Well, I mean, it's 175 income, but uh, I'll hold off on it for now. But it does sound useful. I've been through some of the old data files Central has been holding on to since before the war. I keep running across notes scrawled in English and what looks like broken German. I should probably ask him about it. Oh, that sounds like Dr. Valen, if I'm not mistaken. Oh dear. So maybe she's still around as well. I mean, we know already that uh, Dr. Raymond Shen, uh, Lily Shen's father, is dead. Uh, but uh, he built the Avenger. And we've got Lily around. So maybe Dr. Valen is still around as well. Anyway, um, let's for now, let's proceed some time. Tigan just sent word. The new Resistance Communications Network is fully operational. Now we just have to spread the word. Okay, communication systems are online. We can make contact with local resistance in West Asia. Uh, okay. Uh, and we can make con contact with East Asia. Now that we've established a link, we can use our intel resources to make contact with the local resistance cell in this region. Aside from getting us into the black site, our access to supplies should improve now that we've expanded our reach. Okay, so we can make contact with East Asia. The problem is that's where the... Um, the and next time we meet, I will be prepared to end this. Okay, if you would stop interrupting me all the time. <laughs> okay, so we've got the in intact structures thing, which is where we are right now. Or we can make... Uh, so let's finish that up. Just because uh, um, I don't know, is that a mission going to be? I'm not sure. So let's finish that up, um, and then we can make contact with West Africa first, because I want my people to be not tired anymore when I have to face the assassin again. So I'd rather have uh, a grenadier or two and to just blast her with some explosives, because that sounds like a better way of doing this. Okay, uh, intact structures, four days. Okay, debris cleared, rooms available for construction. Okay, and we've got 24 supplies, so let's view the room. Um, what can we build? We can build... What is this? Oh, we can, we can build all kinds of things. The infirmary was the thing that we could... Uh, so it decreases the time to recover from injuries. Okay, this sounds useful. Um, we can... How's our power? 9 out of 15. Okay, so that's still good. We could build uh, a resistance ring, and not managing covert actions and coordinating with resistance. That sounds useful. Uh, we could build a training center. Uh, okay, purchase additional tactical ability. Somebody mentioned something like XCOM AP. I have no idea what that is, but uh, one of the comments mentioned that. So uh, that sounds useful. We could build a laboratory. Uh, increases the chance that a research breakthrough will occur. Uh, okay, and that just decreases research time, so that's also useful. And uh, yeah, resistance comes increases the number of regions. That sort of sounds like the thing we're gonna need soonishly, because once we have uh, made contact with uh, yeah with with the places in Asia, then um, we're gonna need more. I, I am leaning somewhat towards that, although uh, there is a little exclamation point on the resistance ring, so that's probably what the game wants me to buy. Um, 12 days, 80 supplies. How many supplies do we have? 174. And it takes 3 power. And then we could build the resistance com comms next, I guess. Uh, infirmary sounds useful as well, especially that uh, Dr. Tigan has sort of the breakthrough thingy going on there. But it takes 21 days to build as well, so maybe we'll build this one first. Uh, yeah, uh, we still have two. We have we still have we effectively have two more contacts that we can make. So let's begin just with this one. Okay. Uh, no, I want the engineer to be actually helping out with the guerrilla tactics school because um, alternatively, I could st get the engineer to start on the alien debris for the next one. I guess. Uh, I, I need more engineers, obviously, um, because the next thing we're probably going to be building, yeah, we, we, we definitely need to, cl to clear out more debris here. Commander, now that members of the Resistance factions have joined us on the Avenger, 
I thought you might want an area where you can meet to organize and plan future operations together. Yeah, and we need to rescue Mox. I mean, I haven't forgotten that. I've just met the guy, but um, he likes blowing stuff up. And I'm, I'm wholeheartedly in favor of that. Except when we're in the middle of the zombie apocalypse, all right? Uh, yes, so that, that's what we're building. I mean, yeah, we're doing it already. It's right there. Uh, okay, alien debris. Um, let's, let's keep clearing these. And then she can help out with construction once we've got the next thing going. Uh, okay, so back from that and back to the bridge. Were we done with scanning this? No, we still got two more days on the intact structure and then we can head over to West Asia to make some contact. Okay, so we need intel to make contact. I don't know how much yet, but that's what we get from the Reaper HQ. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Starting to, starting to make sense. Okay, two more days. Okay. Um, okay, so many of the buildings in this area are still intact and they're possible survivors. Okay. Um, so three people want to join the resistance. I guess we're going to have to send some troops down there and shoot somebody, somebody, right? But yeah, since we're here, we do that. So we get three rookies. Uh, and once again, this looks like an all-female squad, but we'll find out. Oh, no, we're just getting them. Okay. Okay. Right, so we just get them for free. Just like that. You, you just fly there and pick up some, pick up some three soldiers. All right, I'm not complaining here. Uh, okay, okay then, let's fly over to West Asia and make contact. Um, After we pay the initial intel cost to make contact, we'll have to scan the region for a few days before the local resistance cell comes out of hiding. Once we find them, we'll be up and running in the new region. Okay, cool. So we make contact with the new region, which means we can do missions there, we get supplies, and that's what we need intel for. 30 intel times link distance to nearest radio relay. All right, so... I'm going to need more intel. <laughs> uh, okay, and then we have to build radio relays. Um, what you hear right now outside is the kookaburras <laughs> in the trees. That's not in the game, just in case you were wondering. So radio relays are the equivalent of satellites, but we need to spend intel to make contact with the regions first. Okay, gotcha. Setting course for the West Asian Corridor. So let's head over there. I make contact with... Commander, using intel collected so far, we've managed to locate a resistance cell operating out of this region. It'll take us some time to scan for their exact position, though. Okay, this starts to make sense. So we're using the intel to find out where the resistance is in that area. And then we need to fly around, scan, make our, re make our presence known, and then they'll, they'll make contact with us. Okay, gotcha. So seven days. This should hopefully actually get my, my, um, my troops a little bit more... Uh, relaxed and less tired, so hopefully that's a good Attempting thing. Attempting to establish local region. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander, and you have outdone yourself. Oh, we get the monthly report! Yay! Uh, so we've completed the guerrilla ops, uh, a resistance ops, investigated two rumors, researched two technologies, and got some supplies. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Elusive Man over here. The Chosen are a tough group to infiltrate, but we've managed to gather intel on their latest actions and have a rough idea of how close each is to reaching their ultimate goal of locating the Avenger. Okay, so these... This, is, this keeps getting more interesting. So these guys are hunting us as well. And we know... We don't know what the other who the other two are, but we know about the Night Queen. And... Um, She's planning a ret retribution. Crackdown on the resistance, permanently lowering XCOM's income. I, don't, I, can't, I can't be having with that. Can we do something about it? Uh, I can't tap on it, so... Uh, okay. Commander, we have intel suggesting the aliens are working on developments that threaten our ability to stop the Avatar project. We can conduct guerrilla operations to disrupt one of these efforts, but we'll have to choose carefully. We don't have the resources to intercede everywhere. Okay, so uh, we can we can, we have two special missions then. We got the alien cipher. Uh, da -da. Aliens increase the strength 
of their encryption, increasing all Intel costs by 100% for a month. Okay, let's be Dr. Tigans. Uh, or uh, XCOM soldiers will suffer great loss to their uh, to, to will in combat. I can't. I don't like that one. Um, double the double the Intel costs would be quite nasty because we're trying to make contact with the third region here. But uh, a com I, I don't like a combat debuff either. So. Blah. I might have to choose wisely here. Okay, so counter operations will be available soon. Okay. Commander, the factions have pledged their support to XCOM, and they're ready to carry out your orders. As our influence with these groups increases, our capabilities will grow in kind. Okay, more stuff to, to, to explore here. So we can assign orders, we'll provide bonuses to XCOM. So that's effectively the, the, the opposite, because they just had some, some changes that they made on their side to, uh, to hurt us, and then we can do the same on our side. Okay. Uh... My people are up for some additional work if you've got any orders for us, Commander. Okay. Um... New resistance order received. Covered, covert actions will not be ambushed. Okay. Uh, can only be activated at the end of the month. All right. So that's the only thing we can do, I guess. Oh, okay. We got another. Units gain plus three mobility for the first two turns of battle when the squad remains concealed. Okay. Yeah. Useful, but not massively so. Uh, because... Uh, while I'm concealed anyway, I don't have to rush, right? Unless it's a timed mission. Well, I guess, yeah, if I'm on a timer, it could be quite useful. Okay. So, uh, the... Ugh. Okay, so what, what do I need to do? <laughs> oh, I can pick one. Okay, so covert actions will not be ambushed. What does that mean? Um, ambushed by whom? By, by the Night Queen? Maybe. Um... Okay, that sounds useful. I'm not sure I want to deal with her just now. I feel like I'm not quite powerful enough. Uh, or the additional mobility. Um, okay. So how do I... What do I just drag that there? Okay, okay. So we can't use that... We can't use the order for the Reapers because we don't have enough influence with them. But... Um, can I put that there? Okay, I can put that there. And that's that. Okay, so that's uh, that's the Reaper order. So they help us such that covert actions don't get ambushed. I'm still not sure what that means, but it sounds bad and I don't want it. So prevent bad things. Commander, we'll need to send our own soldiers out to work with the resistance factions to complete these covert actions. They'll be gone for a few days, but this will help us build influence with the resistance while generating material support. Okay. Oh, so this is like the um, covert, covert ops against the against the uh what were they called what was it exalt i think um yeah exalt in in the first game uh, you know the the hippies <laughs> all right uh so that's the thing okay so oh yeah okay we, we can rescue we can rescue oh, available operations uh rescue pratal mox yes i want him back what else can we do um uh, we can hunt a chosen assassin uh, increase faction influence uh, counter the chosen activity that would be good or we can rescue Praetor Mox uh, no 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 wait this operation is going to require some field experience commander we'll need to send one of our vets to lead the effort okay wait hang on I want to rescue Mox that should have priority we'll do that uh, okay uh, people, okay, personal extraction. Send a few of your soldiers to help, and I'm sure no problem figuring out where she took Praetal Mox. Okay, so that's a that's a mission with the Reapers. So the Reapers will help me find out where Mox is. We need two soldiers, so... Um, uh, unlock a mission to rescue... Yeah, unlock a mission to rescue the captured soldier. Okay, um, so we can send two soldiers here. Ideally, uh, we will send some of the rookies. Um, one of them will get a promotion out of that. So uh, we'll send uh, William here, William Smith. He can go. And we will send... Uh, well, we got a bunch of rookies just now. So uh, uh, we can send uh, Ella as well. So Ella, you go as well. And you two uh, find out where Mox is. So we can go and rescue him. So that will do that. 
Okay, confirm the action. Uh, yeah, and begin that. And because, if, so this is a covert action, so the covert action will not be ambushed. So uh, I can't send the rookies because I just use the, the Reaper monthly mission thingy to get the buff that they're not getting ambushed. So there's no risk of them actually getting killed doing this, and if I understand this correctly. Okay, begin that. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. Commander, the Resistance has a hidden cache of resources stashed outside of Advent's reach. But that means we'll have to fly over and scan the area if we want to recover this stuff for ourselves. Okay, um... Yeah, not, not right now. We were making contact. One thing at a time. Um, so, somewhere there's a supply drop. Oh, it's over that, that way. Okay, one thing at a time. We make contact, then we go after the supply drop. Alright, so let's keep scanning here. It looks like it doesn't quite interrupt you with missions the same way that... Oh, never mind. Hang on the local comms. Advent's been quiet lately. I'm guessing we have you to thank for that. Our pleasure, Den Mother. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Our water purification. Massive signal coming from the Advent Network Tower. It's global. Sir, I think you want to see this. Fellow citizens, for 20 years, the Advent Coalition has worked tirelessly to repair the ravages and injustices of the old world. Under our stewardship, our cities prosper, our people flourish, and our world heals. And yet, among us, there are still those who would refuse to acknowledge the truth, who are determined to see all that we have achieved Multiple crumble. Multiple radar contacts on approach to Haven Alpha 7. That must end. Even as I speak to you today, the gun incoming on approach! Your signal's breaking up! Your territory is to end this scourge once and for all. They're right on top of you! Losing you, Avenger. Raise them again! We will ensure your continued safety and well-being throughout this crisis. Get your people out of there! And with your cooperation, we will overcome these radical elements and usher in another 20 years of peace. They don't stand a chance. Commander, we should get a squad ready to deploy. Commander, we have a squad ready to move on the Resistance Haven currently under siege by the aliens. Give the word and we'll move out. Okay, I was about to say <laughs> that the game doesn't do the thing where it just interrupts you scanning with some urgent mission anymore. Well, turns out it does. <laughs> so the aliens, and I really do hope we get to shoot that speaker at some point because that guy is obnoxious like heck. Uh, so the, the aliens have found one of our resistance groups and are attacking it. And... Um, that is bad, so we need to do something about it. Did you see that last transmission from uh, from the camera that was on the ground? When one of the... It, it, I'm not sure if it was an alien, but it looked like a person who was morphing into some giant monster. Um, that, sounds, that sounds fun. Okay. So, view retaliation site. That was nowhere near the new Arctic. Central. Geography. That was like in Chile or something. Uh, Advent is attacking one of the resistance havens in New Arctic. We'll need to respond quickly to prevent further casualties. Uh, oh, and we might run into the assassin. Well, <laughs> well, isn't that peachy? Okay, so it's a retaliation mission. So there's no stealth. We're just going in guns blazing. So um, I'm going to need heavy weapons, I, I presume. And we might run into the assassin. So bring all the explosive we can. Okay, let's see. Setting course for the Arctic territories. Okay, that's all the way over there. Reaper territory. Okay. I hope there's no zombies this time. Okay, so uh, we can bring... Uh, yeah, we are trying to build the uh, guerrilla tactics facility to give us additional squad size. So that's like the officer training school. Um, and we are currently bringing... Who are we bringing? Uh, Jane, Julia Roberts, and uh, one of the rookies, actually. 
and Elena. I'm, I'm considering not bringing Elena because she's a bit tired anyway. So we're not bringing you. Uh, definitely um, Julie is good people for that because she's Grenadier. And we are... Who else are we going to bring? Uh, we're not going to bring Elena because she, she's a little still a little tired. But instead we are going to bring another rookie. Because yeah, we've got plenty of those and I need to start getting these up and these up and running because uh, I'm gonna need more soldiers I think than last time but you can't just always have the same squad out uh, let's bring Kasumi and um, who, who is of partial Japanese ancestry <laughs> by the looks of it <laughs> very partial uh, looks a lot more US than Japanese okay um, can I can I change their equipment uh, so bear with me while I'm figuring that out. Okay, make items available. Um, and you, no, make items avail available. And give her the med kit. Yeah, uh, how I do? Med kit, med kit, med kit. Assign. Assign to person. How? Okay, I'm I'm not sure how I suppose how am I supposed to do that? Double tap, double tap. Okay, it's double tap. Okay, so um, a not very Japanese-looking soldier here is going to carry the med kit. Okay, cool. So we've got Jane, Kasumi, Julie, and Francesca. Yeah, I, I, it is an extremely female-led uh, group this time around. This is purely random, right? So I'm I'm not making that up, but. Uh, uh, Kasumi definitely looks like um, uh, <laughs> that she likes a plan coming together, if you know what I mean. All right. uh, oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Damn it. Uh, where is it? No, my mission went away. Hang on. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. No. Um, where's the retaliation mission? Oh, it's right here. Yes, confirm. I mean, sorry, I pressed the wrong button. I need to press the, uh, not the back button. Okay, we still got the same setup. Uh, and we're going to deploy. All right, off we go. Okay. So yeah, if we run into the assassin, hopefully the um, the grenade launcher will come in handy. But everybody's carrying a frag as well, so. Sky Ranger deployed. That should be good. Okay, this should be like the civilian rescue mission in XCOM 1, right? Advent's so-called peacekeepers are hitting one of the resistance camps in this area, and they're taking out civilians and fighters alike. We're deploying to protect as many people as we can, secure the site, and take out any hostile forces still threatening the area. Okay, stop Advent retaliation, kill everybody, rescue six civilians. Sounds good. Um, and it's Operation Hellish Moan. <laughs> All right then. Let's get this underway. Okay, and and it. it Dennis one five. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot, and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Okay. Yeah, as I suspected, there's no concealment anyway. Um, Elena could have possibly gotten into concealment again, but uh, uh, yeah, here we are. She needs to rest after all these missions still. Okay, um, so we are looking for civilians and we, uh, we are going to rescue as many as we can. Yet. So yeah, it's like the civilian rescue mission in, um, in the original XCOM. Okay, so Jane, Ranger Jane, <laughs> GI Jane is going to do the scouty bit for me at this point, given that Elena isn't around. Because she also carries a sword and can chop people's heads off if necessary. So that car is already burning. And um, by the looks of it, yeah, we're just going to get right into the outpost and see. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't play, you shouldn't plaster huge XCOM posters on your, on your door frames. You know, that'd be good. <laughs> Makes it makes it makes it less conspicuous. Okay, so Jane over there. Moving to designated position. Okay, nobody spotted. Uh, there is a. I think there is. This is some form of um, 
it's in the form of Fallout, <laughs> Fallout 4-esque uh, like shanty town of things. But uh, there's definitely somebody there, and there's somebody in that building over there. So I am almost tempted to move her a little bit closer. I know it's a, I know it's a double move, but uh, that'll get her close enough to start rescuing people. And if I'm like, if I remember these missions correctly, uh, you, you can't just take your time and be careful, <laughs> because they will start killing civilians left, right, and center. Okay, so we'll move Jane one more up. Moving. It would seem Advent has begun deploying their so-called priests into combat. Their implants provide significant enhancements to whatever latent psionic energy they may have once possessed. At first, Advent deployed non-lethal stun units for crowd control and the occasional protest. We don't see a whole lot of that anymore. Okay, so we've got new kinds of enemies. We've got priests. Unfortunately, they have made a move already. Um, but we can get... Uh, we can get Julie into a better position and start taking them under fire probably from here. Understood. Moving out. It's not a great chance, uh, I, but um, that's a stun lancer, and that's the that's the priest. Okay, so the priest is dangerous. So we're gonna get start opening up at the stun lancer. See if she, see if she can hit him from here. No, she missed. Should have probably pulled everybody up into ambush first. Yeah, it might have been a good idea, but anyway, it is done. Uh, Francesca, she can get into a position here to shoot him, or here. Uh, this, from here, she, she might have shot as well, but uh, they are behind cover over there. So let's move a bit over to the left side and see if she can get a flanking shot from here. It's not going to be flanking, but um, I want to l at least leave one on, maybe one on, on Overwatch if I can. And she missed as well, okay. La mira. And we've got Kasumi. Um, can get into this position. So let's move her over here. Affirmative. Moving out. And she's got a shot. But I'm almost... I mean, one of the, the stun lancer is going to move in for a close quarters, right? So I'm almost tempted to leave her on overwatch. And when he makes a move to take a better shot. I might be doing that. Because the 48% chance is relatively low, and if he makes a, a move on Jane, then I want him, uh, I want her to have an Overwatch shot. So we'll leave her here. On okay. Overwatch. See what he does. Uh, he moved. That's the priest actually. And she missed the Overwatch shot. Great. Adjusting sight. What's he doing? Okay, he's attacking her with something. Not sure what that was. Okay, and this guy got, just goes off killing civilians. Not oh, great. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we didn't have a, a we didn't have a second to lose. Okay, what happened to Kasumi? Um, stasis completely stuns the target for one turn, renders them immune to damage. All right then. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> That's what that is. Uh, Jane. How much, how much damage does the slash attack do? Uh, can I see this? Slash. Uh, no, I can't actually. Because um, I am thinking of just carving this, this priest's face off here. Because uh, he's, <laughs> he's got six hit points. Uh, unfortunately, um, Kazumi is not in a position to give, a fire, to give fire support. Could I get Julie? Uh, yes, she could have a flanking shot at him from there. Um, so I am thinking of using Jane to hit the priest, and then if he, she can, if she can't kill him. Uh, hopefully the other, uh, hopefully the other two can. Otherwise, I can use I can use them to attack the other st the stun lancer. Okay, let's move her into melee range. Roger that. And we'll get you to. Uh, we'll get you to attack the. Uh, how does this work? Do I just... Do I need to... Is it just freeform? Do I need to, to select him or something as a target? Or just... Um, yeah, attack enemy with move, within movement, movement range. Okay, slash him. And he's down. <laughs> nice. Got him. Okay, he's dead. And that means I can pull up the rest of the gang. He was... Where was the stun lancer? He went into that building over there. 
So let's get uh, Julie into position here. Unfortunately, she can't. Uh, unfortunately, she can't see him. But he's probably after the other civilian there to kill them. Um, okay. Anyway, we move Julie up here and leave her on Overwatch then. On Overwatch. And Francesca. Uh, we move Francesca. Is that cover? Yes, that is cover. Move Francesca over here. Maybe maybe they can get Overwatch shots off when he comes around the corner. Because she doesn't have a shot at him either. So we'll just leave the two of them on Overwatch. He makes a move. And next turn we get Kasumi back as well. Okay, she's no longer in stasis. And they keep killing people. Left, right, and center. Where's that stun lancer? Was that him? Okay, that might have been him. Uh, okay. Um, uh, Kasumi, Kasumi, you need to you need to move. We need to. Somebody got killed over there. Um, is there a counter? How many civ more civilians there are? Uh, objectives. Um, Eleven. They've killed two. We haven't rescued anyone. Okay, so that's not good. So Kasumi, move to that corner. Roger that. Uh, no targets. Well, we'll leave you there for now. Um, actually, we're going to leave you on Overwatch, and then some. Jane can move um, can move out here and see if she can get eyes on on that guy that was back there or anybody else. And hopefully, well, Kasumi isn't really going to have an Overwatch shot from there, but let's see. We move Jane over here. Uh, okay, you could have just gone through the door, but that works too. Uh, she doesn't have a shot at anyone. Now uh, the, the problem is. And the problem is they are killing people and <laughs> I need to rescue people. Okay, we can rescue one. So there's definitely one over here. Let's, let's hold off with Jane first. Uh, Francesca. Um, is, does that count as rescue? I mean, she is within range. And she can, pe she can peek through the window. So we'll get her moving over here. Okay, yes. So she gets to rescue the civilian. Good. Um... We do have we do have a, a top level, and that might not actually be a terrible thing to get somebody up top to get an elevated position to just cover more space. But for now, um, we have Julie to move. Can move Julie over here. Moving on target location. And Julie can't see anyone either, so um, we'll move her up a little bit further. Still no contact. Okay. So I am almost thinking, given that we have no contacts right now, to move um, Francesca up here and get her to to provide fire support from the top. Okay, you move up there. Okay, now we have eyes on target. Uh, unfortunately, Jane doesn't have a shot. Um, Julius, uh, yeah, uh, and Jane is the only one left with an action. So this guy is, there's a civilian over there, and this guy is probably going to go for the civilians. Um, yeah, unfortunately he's not in range of anyone. I'm going to have to get Jane to hunt, to hunt these guys and try to, to catch them if possible. There are like three civilians over this way, so Jane needs to move that way. Okay, is that cover? That is sort of cover. Um, but I don't have... Uh, who do I have in Overwatch? Um, I think I only have Kasumi in Overwatch at the moment. Uh, yeah, because I did two moves with her. So I only have Kasumi in Overwatch, but hopefully that's enough. So we'll move Jane over here. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Yeah, there he is. Okay. But he, he might be going for the civilians. Uh, about some kind of shapeshifters. I'm guessing this is it. It is a remarkable species. If only we had some means of containment. Don't even think about it. <laughs> Missed! <laughs> okay. Um, things have gone all kinds of wrong already. Uh, so... And we've got sectoids. And they're killing people. 
Okay. Uh, sheesh. <laughs> what the heck is that? Um, I think... Uh, no, no. I think this is the thing we saw earlier. Hang on. Uh, it just sort of moved. Uh, yeah, this thing there. Um, what the heck's that? <laughs> I think this is the thing we saw in the cinematic. And Dr. Tigan almost went kind of Dr. Valen a little bit here. I, and <laughs> I really like the, the, the little hint towards the first XCOM, because if you knew that, um, you know, that will always be a good thing. Okay, um, uh, Julie has been hit by the Stun Lancer, which is unfortunate, because Kasumi missed her overwatch shot. Uh, I thought he was gonna go for the civilians, but apparently not. So let's, um, let's see who can make themselves useful. Um, Kasumi can sort of move here and try to shoot the stun lancer. He's on six hit points, so she probably can't kill him in one shot, but it's uh, it's not also a good position though. Let's see. Um, Jane could obviously take care of him. Francesca has eyes on that ugly thing over there, so um, she's gonna start taking that under fire. Okay, that's four damage. That's obviously not gonna kill it, but it's the beginning. Um, Kazumi has shots at the stun lancer, but I need that guy dead, ideally. So um, we could get Julie just to take revenge on him. How much damage is she going to do if she's going to shoot him? Uh, it's 89% chance. Uh, I can I can just get Jane to do uh, can just get Jane to do it from here, and then uh, Julie can probably take another shot at that thing. Yeah, Jane's got a better chance. So and she's outflanking him. So um, yeah, just shotgun him in the face down. What? No, it's not? What was that? Well, that, that's that's not cricket. I thought he was going to be dead. I mean, okay, I feel cheated. <laughs> okay, that's unfortunate. So that means Julie needs to kill him. Uh, so Julie, shoot him at... Uh, maybe we can get... Let's see. Uh, maybe we can get Kasumi to kill this guy. But she needs to get into a position where she has some cover to do it. Uh, is that on fire? That looks like it's on fire. Does that count? Is that gonna hurt me? Um, I'm not sure. But she, she does have some cover there. She can't get up top. She can't get topside in, in time uh, to have to have a shot. Okay, we'll move her over here. Let's see if this counts. Understood. Moving out. Okay. Uh, get her to kill the stun lancer if possible. Okay, the stun lancer is down. No longer a threat. And uh, Julie is low on hit points, but I would love her to be. Who was carrying the medkit? One of the rookies. Um, she can, can I move her somewhere? Uh, actually, if I move her, well, she can't move at all. Because she was just um, okay. Then I'll just leave her on Overwatch because I can't move her at all. Because she was just stunned. So these guys are going to start killing more people. Yeah. I don't see how we can how we can rescue six civilians. There's no freaking way we can do this. Not with this many things in the way. Okay, maybe she can kill that thing at least. Okay, that's five damage. But it doesn't seem to be taking it down. No, it's not enough to take it down. Okay, so he's just there, looking ugly. What's he gonna do? Oh, oh, he can jump. Well, that's not cricket. Can he attack still? I hope not. Okay, he can't attack. Whew. Okay. Um, all right. Who had the med kit? Uh, Kasumi has the med kit. So Kasumi can move up here and heal Julie. Okay. First, that thing up there needs to die. Um, uh, Francesca. We'll just see if you can kill it from here. I mean, it's an 85% chance. Shoot it in the head, please. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> uh, Kasumi. Okay, so Kasumi, you go and heal... Uh, you go and heal... Uh, heal Julie up. So let me move you over there. Closing on target position now. I don't think there's a Japanese voiceover, but you use the med kit on Julie. 
Okay. I'll do. That means uh, I've got then Julie, Julia Roberts. Okay, so that means the, this guy's down. So we've only got... Where were the other ones? There was a sectoid. Where were they? I don't even know where on the map they were. But they're civilians this way, so uh, we'll, move, we'll move into that direction. Good copy. Moving on target. Okay, Juliet does not have... Does not have vision on anyone. I could move her further up. The problem is she has no fire support. And if there's a sectoid up there, I think I'm just going to get her to reload at this point. Good to go. Because she's down to one shot. Okay. And uh, Jane... Uh, hmm. Where am I going to get Jane to move? Yeah. I think... Not a great... Not a great position. I could get Jane to flank. We've got one civilian there and one over there. Um, we do definitely need to rescue some civilians. I might risk it to just get Jane over into this position here and rescue that civilian. Uh, that might come back me in the ass because I have no, I have no fire support. Uh, but she has full cover over there, so hopefully it's not too bad. Okay, we'll rescue one. How, how are we on objectives? Okay, we've rescued one. There's only eight left of them. Because, yeah, otherwise we will fail this mission. Okay, we're going to have to risk a little bit here. Okay, Jane, move into that position. On the move. And rescue that civilian. Okay. I've got eyes on Advent troops. Okay, that's Go, the sectoid and the... Um, whatever that is. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. You're ugly and <laughs> you're trying to mind control people. So, But at least the civvies are moving. Okay, the sectoid is moving. It's gonna go for mind control, isn't he? Yes, probably. Okay, Jane, please don't get mind control. Yes. But she's panicked, and that's bad. Okay, so at least she's running into cover. Uh, that could have gone better. Who's throwing grenades? Okay, Jane has just thrown a grenade. And that guy's killing people. Well, that... Oh, we just lost Francesca. How did we lose Francesca? What happened? Okay, I, I completely don't... I, I, I've completely lost track of this. Okay, what, what happened just now? Um, okay, we've still got Kasumi. And we've got Julie. Uh, why did... How did Francesca die? Okay, what I think what happened is that Jane panicked, lobbed a grenade at the building where Francesca was, and blew up the whole thing, and she fell down. Yeah, there she, there's her. There she is. Uh, that could have gone better. <laughs> okay, so we're down to three people. Actually, two, because Jane is panicked. Well, great. Um, well, that that could have gone better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, there's nothing to it. Okay, who do we have left? We've got Kazumi, who is in no position to lend any fire support. So we get her to move over here. Moving to designated position. And she has a shot at the um, the sectoid, so we're going to start firing. People have told me... It's a low chance. She's probably missing. Yes, she's missing. Um, people have told me Out of ammo that um, they see... They see the sectoid as a low, uh, low-risk enemy. I disagree with that. Uh, the problem is the is what you've just seen, literally, because they are reducing the amount of troops you have available, and with only four troops, that is a problem. So if they might, if they mind control, that is that means you need to kill them in the next turn. Otherwise, your own soldiers start shooting at you, or like this, if they get panicked and then do do nonsense like that and just lob grenades, uh, you know. Stuff gets bad as well. Okay. Um, Julie, we're gonna get you into this position here. Confirmed. And we're gonna we're gonna start. Um, I don't know if the chosen assassin is uh, gonna show up, but I am gonna start just blasting that sectoid because that is a guaranteed damage, and uh, it takes away his his cover as well. So. Um, hopefully next turn, uh, next turn Jane comes around and stops throwing grenades at our own people. Okay. 
that's four guaranteed damage and the sector is out in the open. So let's see what happens next. Okay, he's moving. He's not in a good position. Is he going for the mind control again? No, he's raising my killed rookie as a zombie. Okay, and we've got this guy who's keeping killing civilians. And I can't do anything about it. Okay. But we've got Jane back. Okay. So first things first. Um, we've got a zombie. If I kill the sectoid, will the zombie die? Um, that is a good question. Let's kill the sectoid and find out. So we're going to move Julie. Where's the, where's the stun lancer? Is it a stun lancer? I think it's a stun lancer. So he's over there. So we get Julie to kill the sectoid. So we move Moving over there. And shoot that guy in the face. Dead sector. Target neutralized. And does that mean the zombie dies? Yes, that means the zombie dies. Okay, perfect. So the zombie is dead. So Kasumi needs to reload, unfortunately, but she doesn't have a target. So we can only pull her up uh, into a closer Moving position. Um, does she? S she has the med kit, so she doesn't have a frag grenade anyway. So we get her to reload. And Jane, we get you to rescue that civvy and try to take a shot at the uh, take a shot at the stun lancer from there. Does she have a grenade? No, she just threw the grenade at our own people. <laughs> Understood. Moving out. Okay, that's one down. You're safe. Now get moving. Okay, so we've got one another civvy down uh, going, and we can take a shot at the stun lancer. 63 isn't great, but we'll we'll try it. Come on, redeem yourself. Nice. Okay. Care of. Okay, we've got another sectoid and another whatnot. And they keep killing people. We're losing civilians left and right, Commander. We need to get these people out of here. Yeah, no kidding, Central. Um, I, I am working on it. Okay. Uh, Jane is in range of another civilian, so... Um, while I'm tempted, there's another one over here. Where was that sectoid? Uh, I'm not sure where he was, but he was somewhere down that way. Well, I'm tempted to just leave him, because we should be... You never know, there might be another patrol over on the other side. So we're going to get that civilian out there. Out. Just to make sure. Okay. You're clear. Go. You leave. Okay, so he's safe. And then we get... Uh, then we, the rest of the crew push forward this way. Okay, we'll move Julie over here. Closing on target position now. We need to get eyes on that sectoid. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Okay, he's gonna move into cover. Alright, can we get that sectoid killed? That's the question. Um, we still have Kasumi. Can I get Kasumi into a position where she has cover? Uh, not really. That is slightly unfortunate. This would be cover, but that is very far away. Um, this is too far away. She would have a shot from here though, but not at the sectoid. I want that sectoid dead. Um, the problem is, uh, this guy can just flank around if I don't do anything about it. And the sectoid can just... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna use another frag grenade. I am feel <sighs> this guy is actually the bigger threat at this point because he can literally just walk around here and and outflank us whereas I think the sectoid would have a bit more trouble doing this of course he can mind control but hopefully then I can <sighs> the, pro the, the the problem is that um, that Julie is this is so far out of action here that um, yeah this is dangerous. Okay, we'll, we'll frag the we'll frag this trooper and hopefully we'll try to kill him. Because I can get a shot at him from the other um, from from my rookie still from Kasumi. And uh, let's blow up his his, uh, his cover. He's taking three damage. He stands out in the open. And uh, I can pull Kasumi into this position here, where she outflanks him, and hopefully she can kill him. Because we couldn't have killed the sectoid in one turn. 
No, she just has to hit him. So please hit him. Because these guys are fast. And she takes him out. Nice. Okay, so Stun Lancer is down. That means the Sectoid is left, so he's got to move and do something. He's probably going to go for a mind control here. Okay, she panicked. Please don't throw a grenade. Okay, she didn't throw a grenade. Um, okay, we need that Sectoid down, and we need him down soon. But I need... Um, oops. I need to get Jane up, uh, up into range because she doesn't, she's not useful back here. So I'm gonna get Jane all the way over here, and she just has to run this way. Hopefully that's the last of them. Um, and I'm going to where's he where's he positioned over there? I, can I get Julie into a flanking position? That's not flanking. That's not flanking, but it's a bit closer. I don't want to get too close. That's not... I'm going to be able to hit him from there. Uh, it's a 33% hit chance. It's not great. But, um, yeah, I, I, I want to make sure... I don't, I, don't want to, I don't want to rush ahead with her. So, and there's another civilian over there. The sectoid is behind that. She doesn't have any more grenades. Uh, yeah, she doesn't have grenades. So... Uh, I'm sort of tempted to just leave her here and take the shot from here at that sectoid. Where is he hidden behind? Explodey barrels, maybe. Don't know, but um, uh, yeah, that's all whole half cover. Uh, next time I need to bring a sniper for these kind of missions because I didn't think it was going to be this this massive of an area. And snipers can help out a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I do want to shoot at him and start getting him down. We're not she's not going to kill him this turn. Uh, I don't have anyone on Overwatch and I need the other two. And, and Kasumi is panicked, which may be lasting for a turn. But I need, I need, I need Jane in, uh, in range to do something about him. So maybe I'll just stay here. That, that runs the risk that uh, she is getting uh, mind control, though. Uh, yeah, he, he doesn't seem to be... He could shoot at her, like he could literally just walk around and shoot at her, because I have nobody in Overwatch. Um, but from here, shooting from here doesn't make much sense, because she doesn't have a great chance of hitting him. Okay, move a bit closer. Moving to designated position. It's not much better, but it's slightly better. And try to shoot that sectoid. Oh, okay, that actually worked out. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Run and try on ammo. So where is he going? Is he going after the civvy? No, he's going for the mind control again, is he? Or is he raising a zombie? Please raise a zombie. Yes, that is perfect. Yes, please go, keep raising zombies. Okay, so she's no longer panicked. Um, where's that sectoid? He is sort of... Can she shoot through that? Um, can she get into a position where she can outflank the sectoid? And... No. Um, okay. Uh, Julie. She doesn't have a good chance of hitting that sectoid. But I can sort of move her over here. Closer to the sectoid. I need. I want that sectoid dead. Because if I can kill the sectoid... I mean, she could just literally walk in front of him. Um, then the zombie is not going to be a problem anymore. Okay. Uh, just to make sure that I have a plan B here. Uh, Jane. Jane can't really get into position for anything because she's too far away and uh, that's still cover so I'm gonna move Jane here Affirmative. Moving out. okay she does have a 50% chance of hitting the sectoid and uh, Kasumi is outflanked by something uh, that would be the zombie presumably so Kasumi can sort of get into position here she might have a shot at the sectoid from here. Okay, we move her over here. Moving. She needs to move anyway. And she has a shot at the sectoid, but she would also have a shot at the zombie. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll walk Julie straight up to the sectoid and try and shoot him in the face. If she can kill him, the zombie goes down, and then these two are gone anyway. Okay. Move. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Yeah, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, please kill him. Nice. Okay, he's down. 
And that takes care of the zombie. It's down. Menace one five status confirmed. And We're that was it. Up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Okay. Um, we killed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine aliens. Um, we rescued six civilians, so that was literally just the minimum that we achieved. Damn, that was difficult. Uh, yeah, it didn't help <laughs> that we blew up our own soldiers. Oh uh, dear, oh dear, okay. Uh, yeah, that could have gone better, but, um, you know, such is, such is life in combat. Uh, and she was even getting a promotion. The Keeper Scout teams were assaulted by rebel factions. Advent forces gather strength for a renewed assault. Okay. Um, let's continue and get back and see if we got any promotions out of this whole thing. Well, I guess the first thing we're going to do is memorialize Francesca. <laughs> Damn, that uh, could have gone better. Commander, the media is a powerful tool. Just ask Advent's propaganda machine. I say it's time we turn it against them. By spreading the word of our soldiers' exploits in combat, we can bolster morale throughout the resistance. Yeah, Central, I'm not certain that um, telling everybody that we just grenaded our own rookie to death is going to bolster morale of anybody really but uh, okay so avenge her yes uh, um, what can we what the heck can we do here headshot <laughs> no grenade um, uh, effects paper LCD. what no no what the that's dreadful no don't do that um, filter 70s no 70s no my gosh no that, that looks all dreadful no 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 don't do any of that nonsense this isn't okay so xcom 2 has instagram built in i see oh, i probably shouldn't mention this on the air but whew, i got a serious crush developing for that mysterious commander running things over at xcom and i'm not sure if we're talking about a man or a woman here but still have you seen what's been going on just today he or she kicked the hell out of some Advent goons like it was just another day at the park. Oh, 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 oh whoa. Okay, please try to keep it together. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to comment on that. Uh, background options. Uh, uh, okay, XCOM badge. Yeah, that looks decent. Okay. Um, back, uh, take photo. Okay, done. So we've done that, so she's memorialized. Uh, Julie's gotten herself wounded, yes, because uh, she, took a, she took a hit from the stun lancer, but she also got promoted. So she can now choose between demolition, which does what? Uh, this kills, this destroys cover. Uh, okay. Will destroy most cover objects. Okay, good to know. Or suppression. Uh, is that the same like in the last one? Uh, okay. Mm, I'm sort of feeling the... Yeah, you know, destroying cover is useful, but I can also just use the grenade launcher for that, you know? And she uses most of her ammo. This is not a use... It doesn't feel like a super useful skill here. Uh, I might I'm actually go with suppression because if we down the road we come into some high value targets that are really causing us grief on range, suppression might not be a bad thing. So um, uh, imposing 50 pen 50 percent penalty to targets aim. Okay. Yeah, we'll take we'll take that. Uh, yes. Okay. And uh, Kasumi is going to be. A ranger okay so we've got a second ranger here good to know all right a rescued civilian six we got an illyrium core a data cache a dead priest three stun lancers a faceless so that's what these things are and two sectoids okay 
Uh, yeah, we found one. Decrypting files. Oh, th these things carry intel. Okay, gotcha. I understand. Uh, is that a th what? Are these thin men? No, no, no. It's just comparing it. So these are these are these are shape shapeshifters and. Uh, Okay, and we can analyze that, and maybe we can we can find something. Hello, Commander. Yeah, they're grateful for our efforts to repel the retaliation. Uh, okay, gotcha. It's all good. Okay, yeah, we've lost a soldier, but we've gained two rookies, so um, I'd call that a net win. <laughs> yeah, uh, rest in peace, Francesca. That uh, could have gone better, but uh, I hope Julie can forgive herself for. Um, Sorry, it wasn't Julie. Was it? Was it Jane? I think it was Jane. Uh, can't forgive herself for. We've been picking up some weird transmissions lately. It sounds a little like German, but it's hard to. You tell. know, Central. If you would just show me these transmissions rather than just talk, talking about them, I could probably decipher them. But anyway, uh, I think that's where we're stopping it for today. Uh, thanks, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.